this is Greg Siegel and today I'm going to be showing you how to add an activity indicator to your Xcode project. So the first thing you want to do is go over to Xcode and go to create a new Xcode application, single view application. I'm going to call it indicator, activity indicator. Tour, there we go. Save it onto my desktop. Going to adjust this and zoom in. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go over to our viewcontroller.h. Okay, so once we've done that, we want to add an IB outlet. Okay, IB outlet space, and then we want to do UI activity. Indicate, indicator view, there we go, that's all done for us. We're going to do space, star, activity, indicator, and then semicolon. So that's all good. Then we need to add our property. So we're going to go underneath here and then go at property. Um, then we're going to do curly bracket, non tonic. Then a comma, space, retain, curly bracket, IB outlet, space, UI activity. Keep spelling this wrong, activity indicator view, there we go. Um, and then we want to do space, star, activity, indicator, and semicolon. So that's all done. Then we need to just jump into M. And we just need to synthesize that. We need to do at and then synthesize. Okay, synthesize property. Uh, and we're going to call this activity indicator. Just like that. Uh, we need to add our semicolon. Don't forget that. Okay, so we need to just go to our view data load, which is here. I'm going to move this bracket. I'm going to create some space and then we just need to do bracket activity indicator space and then start animating and then bracket semicolon that's all done we can move that space up uh, we've got no errors as you can see and we just need to jump into our view controller dot nib Um, okay, I'm just going to zoom out, make things easier. Okay, so once we've done this, I'm just going to give it a black background. We just need to find our activity indicator. Going to leave it there. Once that's done, just need to go to Files Owner. Files owner and then click on there. And we just need to get the activity indicator and then drag it to our activity indicator. And then that will select. Uh, and then we're all good to go. We just need to go to iPhone 5.0 simulator and run. I'm going to zoom out. And there we go. You can just see it will just keep on running uh, forever and ever. So that's an activity indicator. It's really useful if you want to show something that's loading or if you're waiting for something. Uh, really useful and really simple. Only requires a few lines of code. So I'm Greg Siegel from Codable, and this is how to use an activity indicator. See you later.